What's going on everybody? It's your boy Don Illuminati back with another video. Every time I come to do these videos, it always seems like it's like I got to do so much to um, stop the, the retarded orchestrations from happening. It's like I got to do this. I got to do that. I just be trying to get here, just set up, just be able to turn the camera on and just, you know, get to the jump, right? It's never like that at all. I always got to fix this. I got to do that. And then I left that over there. And then I'm like, dang, man, I could, I'm just trying to get started, man. Like, your boy needs some help. Your boy needs some help. I got a lot that, you know, because I, I feel like I move pretty quick. And um, sometimes my mind be doing the same thing. So it, it takes me sometimes like two or three hours to get out of the house. Um, <clears throat> first, I want to say... Um, I know y'all probably was a little shocked about the video that I did with the song and everything like that. You know what I mean? Shout out to LOX, you know what I'm saying? Hey, look, I'm not into the vulgar material with none of that. Um, I happened to cut Sheik Looch out the middle, and I just jumped in there. It was just something that I something that I used to do back in the day. I always used to, um, so what you do is um, you take the instrumental, and then you, um, you grab the actual song, the official song. And then you go into the program and then you basically cut a spot for yourself with the instrumental and then you just jump in. I used to have fun with that all the time. Um, the difference between nowadays and back in the day is, uh, you know, they hit you with this copyright stuff or infringement. Facebook didn't used to do that. I used to have fun doing that all the time because um, I could just really just get in there and remix my own stuff, get in there and remix, whatever. The thing is, it wasn't, it's not something that I'm trying to like, um, it's not like I'm trying to get into secular music or anything like that. That actually had a message. And it actually happened to have the same message that I felt like I needed to put out there. As you can see, you probably couldn't really hear. Um, it was like my, my part was the second part in there. And um, I'm speaking, you know what I mean? Like I said, everything that I do, it's kind of like a message behind it. You feel me? And sometimes it's a test. Sometimes you don't know what the test is for. I, I literally jumped on that. I wanted to do it, but uh, when I actually put it out there, it was like, look, I'm getting ready to test all odds right now. And that's what's going to bring me to um, what I was going to talk about. I'm going to start talking about as far as, um, and I know you're probably trying to figure out how, how does this relate to that. But when the Bible says that the enemy may be the ones of your own household, okay? Let's just start there, okay? I'm going to go ahead and put that away. If you can figure out what I'm saying, then, you know, so be it. But you really got to follow deep into certain things that I do. If you don't catch it, then you don't catch it. You might think this or that. But I'm here to assure you that I did not stray off the path. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? If you can literally listen to what I'm saying in there, you would understand that, um, you know, I'm out for the devils. And when it, when it comes to that, Mother, father, sister, brother, it wouldn't matter. LOX, it wouldn't matter. If you turn into a devil on me, yo, we're going to have problems at the end of the day. You're not going to be here, son. I, don't, I wouldn't really care. But that's the problem. It's the problem with us when we're trying to um, always make friends with people, okay? Always trying to make friends with people because the Bible says, you know, you love mother, father, sister, brother more than me, but also friends and associates and co-workers and whoever you're in the vicinity of and it says that you know your enemy will be the ones of your own household but i want to extend that a little further to you let's just talk about it right let's say that what the bible says this is not me adding or taking away from the word i always got to say that when i have an elaboration because sometimes you want to take these thoughts just a little bit step further okay well and if the enemy's going to be the ones of your own household why wouldn't he be in your job um, on your basketball team why can it be your boxing coach it could be your best friend anybody that you love dearly that you keep on your mind or the people that you keep in your heart do you understand what i'm saying you go out there into this world right now and it looks like everybody's the enemy in the house of god this is the house of israel so you go outside and you look at your neighbor that could be your enemy do you see what i'm saying and why is it so effective to you when they do become your enemy because first of all you don't know who satan is going to try to use next that's why i want to extend this idea to you 
you really gonna have to cut yourself off from a lot of people i don't care if they live in your uh physical household or not that's why i also told you mother father sister brother blah 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 right once upon a time these people were a part of your household okay and they may not be now but could they still be your enemies yes why because satan could get a hold of them he can utilize anybody he wants so that's why i was saying on that one video i was like look man i don't really want to do the whole friend thing and big ups this and shout out that and all this that and the third because you never know which smug is going to crisscross you you never know when satan might try to jump in there and now it's become effective to you and now it's like making your job a lot more strenuous than it need be versus you i say not having this much care for the people in the world you know what i'm saying but it'll allow you to be that much more stoic i'm sorry to say it but i understand what was happening here because i've been through certain exercises excuse me and um like i said is there's been orchestrations that i know that's been by god himself even in the government and when they utilize certain people like the black man they used us to weaponize us y'all don't y'all don't see it you ain't see it but i've been trying to tell y'all they done turn i i know that i'm a weapon i know and the government's gonna they're, they're secretly trying to put us together y'all just think that is this that and the third but at the end of the day they've been training us to hate the government for the throwback because they're going to use that at a certain particular time don't y'all see it it's all been orchestrated by christ though himself though at the same time but the government is in on it and at the end of the day it's going to be this uproar you know what i'm saying why because y'all don't understand that y'all being institutionalized man y'all don't y'all really don't see this you know what i'm saying y'all see it the way i see it because most of y'all never really been locked up before so when you get locked up you'll notice that every single day this thing is like hold up man this is a pattern these are orchestrations why would i say thing in this cell back over here all the way on the other side of this pot how do these cats over here pick up on the energy within two minutes or so you ain't seen one person go back there and run and tell that nothing and you're like yo they already on the way this is what i was getting fellas to realize when we were locked up and it was like yo you know what that's funny you called that out bro that's that's funny as hell i do see it yo they is operating like that it's like see see that's all a part of the institutionalism man they're controlling your whole show duh. the whole thing is under construction it's under control by you could say the powers that be bro but at the end of the day i know who was causing me to be locked up so much who's god himself and he utilizes me being in those certain certain um circumstances oh sorry man i thought i told god i'm like man i'm tired i said man you gotta give me this positron to kick in this positron or one day i'm just gonna get up here and just die and then come right back to life and then had a full show for you because it's getting ridiculous man you know what i'm saying it's almost like when you try to say a prayer at night and then all of a sudden you start yawning and all that like yeah get the hell out of here with that man that's the flesh that is the flesh actually that's you watching me fight between my spirit and my flesh why because i already told the lord look man take over my body that means stop me from yawning man come on dog like man. you feel me that's the big homie big homie man he, he got control of everything okay and he's the one that been showing me this since i've been locked up and it's gotten to the point where I will get locked up for some dumb stuff and then i'll just be in there and i'm like oh man not again like man what is it this time what did you, what do you want me to go through this time because every time it's always some type of tension it's always time some type of tension right so you can speak the word like this is a very tensionable guy y'all may not like the position or what we're up against but you got to go through it you understand because sometimes think about it if you were to get locked up and you had to do some time you might be in there for six months yeah, but here comes this dude with a shank out of nowhere with the problems that you just trying to mind your business. Like, what the? Then what you going to do? Huh? You only got six months in there. You're doing about, you're, you're about four months in. Now, all of a sudden, here comes the test here. Here comes the test there. Here comes the test there. Right? You need to get out of here. You know it's only a certain amount of time, but you're being tested. And guess what you're being tested on? Your life. 
deciding if you're going to fight or not. You could have been there for a petty crime or you could never get out like you're doing life. There's people who are in there who go in there and they never come out because they're doing a life sentence. That's not fair. You're only doing six months. But in four months, here you got to not only protect your life. You see what I'm saying? When you do so, you may put this dude down severely and now you may be doing a life sentence. How do you figure this out? Do you understand? Y'all don't, don't be through these situations. I have. Lots of times. And every time I get in, I'm like, Lord, what is it this time? You're always going to have me on the brink like this. You have danger. Trying to figure out a way how you're going to protect yourself. Right? Right? And no, you don't deserve it. No. You, you know you need to get out of the situation. But you're, you're rising. these things are arising. They're out of your control. Okay? And that's why I'm telling you this is institutionalism. Because all the times that I've been in there, I've realized it's the same old ish. And he's been orchestrating it the whole time. He let me know. And that's why I always ask him, well, dang, man, really, you really going to have me? Okay, who is it that you want me to work on this time? What person is it? You see what I'm saying? Now these orchestrations has been passed on to the outside. Y'all don't understand y'all being institutionalized. And you're going to have to fight for your life. Regardless if you like it or not. It's just it so happens that God that you're dealing with, bro. Like it or not. I don't like it. I don't like it. But what, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Do you want to get out of this story or not? Because the only way out is to fight. Okay? That's the only way I can explain this to y'all, bro. You can sit here and call me whatever you want, man. But I already, I'm telling you, I've, I've been in all these things, man. I've been in there time after time after time after time understanding that it was the Lord himself that put me in there. You can say, oh, no, it was me, this, that, that. Uh, you, 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 I've been locked up for a $75 fine, bro. Fines. And I'm put see in Delaware, they don't they don't separate the jails like that. They do separate, they got prisons and they got this and they got that. But they also, this is the only state where they got a jail slash prison where you can go in there on child support fine or speeding ticket fine and be placed in the same cell as a murderer that just killed somebody last week. Yeah, yeah. None of y'all states do that. This state does do that. So don't you understand that I've been in there for fines that was unpaid tickets, whatever it was, and they just decided to lock me up. Why? Because I was one of their state properties, nigga. And I'm, I'm honestly, at this point, I'm tired of being state property. I'm tired of being world property. I'm tired of being a United States citizen. I'm tired of being all that shit, okay? But mind you, God has been having control of this situation the whole time. And if he did with me, he does with y'all. And I'm going to tell you, it gets crazy. And sometimes you're going to feel like, like, like you might die. Like you're being closed in by this, that, and the third. And think of it. Think of who he puts you with. You're selling. See? What is it? Your enemies will be the ones of your own selling? Bro. Bro. If he'll utilize that to you, he's literally cornering you. To a position like you don't have no 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 chance but to fight. There's no other way around this. And a lot of y'all are in them circumstances. Whether, like I said, whether you gotta go to work, whether you live with somebody, whether you want a team player, or whatever the situation is, he causes and allows me to not have to deal with any of that. Because I've done dealt with it already too much before. Sometimes you go into these situations and you don't understand what's happening. You understand? But all you need to know is that the Lord God has full control. And when I mean full control, I mean complete full control. To where it's like, you just got to play the story out, dog. You just got to play it out. And I'm going to tell you like this. We get in it. We, we, we get into it. We get into it. And right before you think that you're up to be destroyed, little something happens. There's a bell ring. There's a light bulb that goes off. There's a there's a brightness that that overtakes the situation. You feel me? And that's why I wanted to talk to y'all about these situations. That's why he put me through all those orchestrations because he told me that I was going. This was going to be a part of me explaining this story when I had my chance. And these are the days now. So now that I got my chance, and this is why I can't sit back. This is why I'm like, dang man, it's it's late night. I'm, I'm tired right now. I want to get up. 
I'm like, well, Lord, just just speak to me. Let 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 them know what it is you want to say. And he's like, yeah, you know, you you've been through for the most part of it. And when I got down here, I didn't know specifically what I was gonna say. I was just gonna say like, I was gonna get on y'all saying, look, man, wh- where's where's my sharpener at? You know, because the people, you know how they say iron sharpens iron, right? Okay. Well, that's one of the tests. That's just one small increment of the test. Me putting that song up there and I sit back and I watch you probably watching me I was watching y'all I'm like hmm well it's obviously they don't really like it much it's obvious they don't really have nothing to say about it they're probably not too sure and I'm like I know they probably I was laughing till I'm like I know they probably like yo what the heck <laughs> you feel me and I'm lo- I'm also noticing hmm I didn't get sharpened by not near any one of you right because if you felt that it was wrong somebody should have said something I didn't get no comments you didn't like it obviously so why didn't you like it what, you know can I get the feedback on that right so there was a test for you guys okay I'm telling you it was also a test to YouTube it was also a test to the locks it was also a test to it was also testing me, my whole channel, and everything. Like, yo, let's just go. Let's just rock out. Why? I told you I was risky, man. Hmm. I told you. And sometimes, excuse me, that's what it takes to get the job done. You don't understand, but it is. You can't be fearful of anything. You understand? Now, if you actually go and listen to the first part, Styles P part, just listen to what he said. It said, the song was, I gave it to him. He only, all he wanted was some love, so I gave it to him. Your brother was looking for some love, right? Not from the locks. Not from y'all. You see what I mean? He gave it to him. The video's still up. I ain't get no clearance. I called my boy this morning and said, yo, See what we can do about getting the clearance on that lock track that I just put out there. Because you know what? I feel like I might want to go just a little further with this. You see what I'm saying? And let's see if they give it to me. Because out of all respect, if I got to get it from the algorithms of YouTube or even the locks themselves, but I can't get it for nobody else? Yo, that's crazy, man. You get my you get my drift now? You get you get my point? You see what I'm saying? Do you understand the message that the host on? And even Jada Kiss wrapped it up. Sheik Luch part, which I took out. Honestly, res- respect the Sheik Luch, whatever. But it was kind of vulgar for the message that I was actually going for. So Styles P part fit and Jada Kiss part had fit. The chorus is a little a little off, but that's them. That's their song. Shout out to them. I just happened to just do what I be doing and jumped in the midst of it because it was on the kind of the same vibe that I. It just so happened, though, and, I, and the beat was crazy. But at the same time, I didn't go too crazy on clarifying the audio and this, that, and the third. Because, like I said, it was just a test. Now, if I get a clearance on that joint, it'll be the real thing. But if I get a clearance on that joint, yeah, she looching. They all going to be hearing it. You understand what I'm saying? And we can get that done. You, you have no idea. I have do, done a little bit of dabbling in it hip-hop industry and i do know some people that can get some things done you see what i'm saying we can get that clearance that's a fact um what it's gonna run me i don't know but am i willing to pay it no no i'm a a producer myself i can literally make a very similar beat and you know i'm not gonna do my own song whatever you know what i'm saying but i just thought it was pretty cool to uh just go ahead and jump in on there because at the moment i felt it so i did it I didn't, th- I didn't worry about what y'all was going to think. I didn't worry about if it was going to get um, a strike on the channel. I didn't worry about nothing. Why? Because at that particular time, it was a message that I wanted to give. And I felt like, look, I'm not getting ready to do a whole song just to put this out there. I didn't did enough songs. I did. I did enough songs. It doesn't get that much credibility when I drop them. So why am I sitting here wasting time doing this thing? Do you understand where I'm going at with all this? You, you feel me? So I just rocked, rocked it and said, yo, whatever's whatever. Lord, if they shut me down, you know what I mean? I go back to Facebook. I'll do whatever I do because I got 
people on Facebook and I drop videos on there I get thousands of views on Facebook you see what I'm saying now because I, I got a whole um, business aspect of things when I the way I run it over there on Facebook so you know but my thing is to the YouTube I've, I've always been trying to you know you know get into the YouTube algorithms and it's been a little fight with me and I want to say I'm kind of holding a little, you know what I mean, a little grudge with them because they've been kicking me off since the very beginning. Because I've been on here and I, I used to go crazy, dog. God told me I'm going to get my opportunity to do so. Maybe y'all might have seen a little bit here and there, but I really didn't, really didn't go that crazy with y'all yet. Yeah, I ain't really get to see that part. I mean, maybe a little bit in some of my videos, but I don't be coming like that. That's why I said in the song, I'm tired of having this composure. I don't know if y'all caught that part. I'm tired of having this composure. Y'all think I want to sit up here and be all composing? Nah, nigga, I'm sort of yelling and screaming and hollering and dipping and dashing and ready to... You see a vein in my forehead, dog. The type of ish that I'm trying to talk about that I'm trying to get across to a whole bunch of knuckleheads when we on the brink of war? We ain't talking about... We ain't talking about World War III, bro. We ain't talking about World War III and we're not talking about spiritual war, okay? We are talking about getting the land back. Getting this land back. It belongs to us you see what i'm saying it belong to us and like i said everybody just want to just take their eyeballs out i'm going to put it on all this this that and the third look man my eyes is still on the prize you feel me my eyes is on the prize now he done told me what to do duck you feel me and i'm going to do my by any means necessary to get it done i was very upset even with god last night i really was i really was and that's after everything. And I was just, it was just like, oh my gosh, I don't, I don't think that I've I've ever been this upset with God. You feel me? And and, and no, I didn't disrespect him at all. I just had to beat myself up, like, you know, in my head. And just it was so crazy. It was so just draining, like, because it's a it's part of my story. It's not no little temper tantrums. That you get about little things, this, that, and the third. It's like, well, you called me to do a certain mission. And I'm not going to continue to continue get up here and keep telling people certain things. It's going to make me look crazy, man. Every time I get up here, I have to make me look like a certain way. Right? You got people still challenging and this, that, and the third. That means you don't believe me. That means you don't believe me. And do you understand how tired I am? I done gave you the clues since I've been up here. Y'all want to know more about me? Go check all the videos from, from the beginning to now. I've been the one up here talking about we getting ready to go into this war. Not a World War III, bro. None of them countries can touch us at all. This is the house of God. Ain't nobody touching this place, man. Not right now. We are all here, all his children. It just brought 60, 80 million of them back over here. That was the exodus that when they returned back before his coming, Okay? You think they're doing anything? No. We do something. It's us. Come on, man. Don't y'all remember the scriptures? In fact, I'm not, I'm not coming with the scriptures right now. I'm sorry. I, I'm not coming with the scriptures. But we should all know, right? It was his children that's getting the land back, right? Okay. Well, I want to I wanna let y'all know in the midst of that, right? There is a lot of people that's going to die. Isn't that what the Bible says? It is, right? So... What time do we think we living in right now, huh? Do we do we, do do we think that we're far away from this time period, bro? Is it, here's another one, right? Another clue and sign. There will be wars and rumors of wars. Okay, that's this time. He said before the coming of Christ, there will be wars and there will be rumors of wars. Okay, so what time is it? Is it the wars and rumors of wars times? Oh well, we always have wars, man. Come on, bro. We always had, quote unquote, World War Three, bro. Because that's not what's happening, Captain. It's not. All this is finna stay stagnant until we get our land back and we shut everything down. Mind you, when we do what we got to do, we all win. They ain't got to do nothing. All the troublemakers are out the way. That's why they say, yay, mighty Babylon has fallen. Why? Because we did it. Isn't that what it said? Oh, okay. So keep worrying about what the hell's going on over there. Instead of worrying about our land. I'm, I don't know about y'all, man. 
I don't know about y'all, but I'm not going to keep waiting. And this is why I was so angry last night. And this is why I get real risky at times like this. Because I'm sitting back watching the people. I'm watching y'all. I'm like, hmm. I got to isolate myself just that much more. You want to know why? Because everybody getting ready to start talking, thinking they want the f they talking about, and they don't know a thing. So I ain't got room to go back and forth with nobody. So I'm going to favor nobody from here on out. I can't. Why? Because that's going to give the devil a sure opportunity to utilize this month to say some old art course that I'm going to have to go correct now. To, just to cause tension. We ain't doing that. You understand? I do what I do. And like I said, all you can do is listen. All right? Look, we all got the story, bro. Do we or do we not? We all got the story. Now, there was something else that I wanted to speak of because I put this on my heart. It's Philippians 4.19. I don't know who this is going to, but as far as your needs being supplied, God is going to supply all your needs. He has, he's been doing it right. He's been doing it right. Okay, you'll notice as it's almost like the slope happening, but you're on the other end, end of the stick, like if it's some type of um, seesaw. The more it goes down, the more you'll come up. But that's why you, you won't really, you'll stress yourself out if you don't understand how to operate right now. That's why I'm helping y'all get some cheat codes with the, the whole, you know, gaining your energy, turning negatives into positives. And I got a little bit more for that too. And it's on um, neurotransmitters, neurotransmission type situations, which is inside a body. If you get, uh, it help you improve uh, thinking the ability to remember certain things. You're going to have to sleep, eating well, certain music. You know, all these things is added to the neuro, the neuro, the neuro, the neurotransmitting process, okay? Because there's a neurotransmitting process too, which we're going to talk about in there. There's three different uh, processes that came up in this whole more um, in the keys to the universe thing, right? So we went through the one part. Then we got one, two, three more that I that I got that's written down. All those are different lessons. So there's three more lessons on that, okay? And they're all pretty deep. But it's going to help you get your diet together. It's going to help you get your energy together to where it's going to be so much happening in this world. It's going to be so much negativity. It's not going to phase you, Doug. It's not going to phase you. If you do what I'm asking, if you do what... We probably should have been doing, but it was America that kind of had us, you know, this off course thing, you know what I mean? Like slice a pizza and a cola and a, go kick that down with another beer or something like that, Doug. Keeping you up all hours of the night, feeding you corruptible music and this, that, and the third. Like I said, I knew that what I put up there the other day, and I, and I get it. A lot of y'all want to be so self-righteous and extra holy and all that extra stuff, right? These niggas wasn't on there worshiping the devil. You understand what I'm saying? They wasn't worshiping the devil. Jada Kiss said something like, oh, he danced with the devil one time and he became related to him. Bro, for a lot of y'all, see, that's Jada. That's a real nigga. He's speaking truth. For a lot of y'all, y'all did the same thing. And you just don't want to admit it. You understand? Do you understand what dancing with the devil could be? Yeah? You, you picked up a blunt. You smoked it. You picked up a drink. You got way too drunk. Huh? Now you became related to it. You wasn't? Oh, right? Word? So you're telling me that these other dark energies and negative energies and entities that you tied yourself to didn't have some type of relation with you at one point in time? No? You lying to yourself. So don't ever, don't ever look at that the wrong certain things, bro. It's not, it's like I said, the man not telling you he worships the devil. You know that's <clears throat> you know he believes in God. Come on, bro. Go, 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 come on, bro. Come on, man. That be y'all be trying to act all extra holy and shit, bro. Stop that. That is going to, dog, that ain't going to get you nowhere, bro. That ain't going to get you nowhere when you're really supposed to be just edifying your spirit with the right things. The proper amount of sunlight, the right diet, the right sleep, being around the right people. You understand? At this point, you pretty might want to turn everybody off. Everybody off because when they get a hold that you understand what you're doing and how you're moving, they're going to start saying things and they're going to start offering that and this and that and the third. And now you're going to find yourself having so much tension with people. 
And I know it's going to be hard for the people who are stuck in the households with other people because it's like, yeah, you can't get away from it. How do you isolate yourself in that particular uh, situation? Well, like I said, that's going to be another need that you need. That's your supply. Now, if you look, the Bible also says that if you uh, repeat God's word to him, it it won't return void. So you got to go tell him that, you know, Philippians 419 said, God, it says you will supply all my needs according to my righteousness and glory by Christ Jesus. You said you would do that, right? Right. If you could ask Jesus, Jesus will give it to you, too. He said, whatever that you ask of me, I will give to thee. Remember, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. The son came through to do a lot of great, amazing works for us, dog. So even if you ask Jesus, right? Jesus will provide for you, dog. He will provide for you. Hey, look, a lot of y'all still trying to talk straight to God and this, that. Look, for some of y'all, you need Jesus. You're going to need his help, dog. You understand what I'm saying? That's what I'm telling you. So you better remember the fact. Yes, number one, two. Yeah. Jesus is Lord. Christ is Lord. God is Lord. Lord thy God. Okay, this is the Trinity, bro. They're all Lord, bro. They're all the same right now. You, you feel what I'm saying? We, on the other hand, got work to do down here. You feel me? Thy brethren, who what he has called to get this job done, it's like, dang, there is no other brethren out here that want to get it done. They want to keep their eyes focused on the other side of the world right now. Stop being distracted and start remembering the task. That's why I'm here. Let's get on the task. Or, I just, I got to get permission from the Most High to show y'all. And I, and I hope that the algorithms don't shut me out. Because if I got to prove anything to y'all, they'll just shut my channel down the first video I show y'all. You know what I'm talking about. I'm telling you, I'm out here to slay demons, cuz. Oh, well, where's the demons at? You know where they at. Do I got to show you niggas? Huh? They ain't going to be fair. They ain't going to be shut me down. I'm supposed to be coming out of my words. Right? Come on, man. Put two and two together. I'll be looking at God like, how much more do you want me to tell these fools? They just don't get it. They just don't get it. We ain't supposed to be involved with this, this, that, and the third. That's Putin over there. He's part of the show, orchestrating things that, you know, he's been like a messenger. He's been used as a messenger, too. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I put that video up there. I said, look, man, don't forget it. Putin is on her side to a certain extent. Let's say they're all on her side to a certain extent. Let's say they're all being used by the devil as well. Is that or is that not going to cause all these things to fall in place? God said, God said, God said he will use what they have turned out for sin and for the for the for bad and iniquity to turn it out for his good. Didn't he say that? Didn't he also say that he was the one that did this? Didn't he say that? Yes, he did. So of course, don't he say he also said in Proverbs that he would use evil at the end of the day time to utilize evil to get the the work done as well. We'll use evil against evil. And even to the day when you see these mugs out here, mask each other up and doing all whatever they're going to be doing. Yeah, that's that's part. That's mainly a lot of part of how they're going to be getting up out of here for the most part. We just like a cleanup crew for the most part. Me, I'm a narrator. See what I'm saying? So, as I advised the woman the other day, as far as getting out of the way... There are certain men that's got to be out of the way, too. It doesn't matter how powerful you are. If you're that powerful, you got a job to do, dog. It's all, we all got to play a certain part. You feel me? You feel me? So don't think that, yeah, when it just gets started, you know, your boy just going to be flying out the roof. And I'm just, oh, that, bro, that, that's some of my work, but that ain't all my work. I just, My work has been called to do what I'm doing right now, dog. While the show's being orchestrated and all these lies is everywhere, somebody's got to be there with the truth, bro. That means, how am I going to be doing two things at once? So somehow, I got to be in a nice, safe and secure environment as well, in which more than likely, yeah, I am. going to be protecting everything while I'm doing what I do, which is whether it's rapping, giving spoken word, you understand? I got I to gotta, I gotta baby some of y'all through this whole show so y'all can have that. 
and y'all can have that. You, you know what I'm saying? You can, I can't be out there throwing myself in a situation, dirt, trying to duck, dodge it. That's, that's going to be planned for somebody like me and what he called me to do. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I'm just letting y'all know. I'm telling you what I'm here for, to raise the soldiers up, okay? I'm a soldier myself, but understand it's like um, if you're going into the military and I'm an electrician, okay? But I'm an electrician. That's my job over there. But you think that I'm just an electrician? No. Some part of that, I got to have combat skills, weapons, armor. You name it. You name it, okay? Because I'm still got to be a soldier in order to do my job in the midst of the war. You hear me? Now, for the ladies, okay? For the ladies. And I still ain't getting on this to uh, that topic yet because I'm going to come out Isaiah with that. But, like I said... Don't just jump into the battlefield thinking that you want to be some kind of strong warrior to stand the third. Mind you, I just said God's going to use for the most part, even though going to be doing a lot of the work. You feel me? If you're putting yourself out there in them circumstances, I would advise you, keep your head covered. Keep your eyes covered. Keep your head covered like how I got my head right now. And I, maybe not just the hoodie going to do. You hear me? I'm just, just do that. Just, just, just please, just do that, right? And be quick and be unnoticed and do not give eye contact to no one. And if anything arises, you ignore it or you plead the blood of Jesus over it. Do you understand what I'm saying? You get your ass back into the house where you got your safe and secure stuff. Oh, and don't leave the house without it. But don't leave the house with intentions either. You are not out there to fight. You are out there to get what you need done and get back home. If you don't have a man, you hear me? Oh, and bring your flashlights too. Don't go out at night. But if you're at night and you're alone... As a woman, have those lights I was telling you about, 35 to 4,500 lumens. Make sure that they're on at all times. Make sure you got plenty of batteries and plenty of stuff and surround your house with it. Because if a demonic entity figure, whatever it is, if it approaches you, you hit that light. Boom. It's just going to go the other direction. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm telling you. Remember, the, the weapons of warfare are not carnal. Yes, they're going to be, but... At the same time, that's why I'm telling you this light thing is going to be a very, light is not carnal, okay? It's not, it's not carnal, but to a, a spiritual dark entity, <laughs> you'll see how, you'll see, you'll see how it works. You'll see how it works, but you got to listen. That's what I said. And the Bible says that people perish for the lack of knowledge. He's putting somebody in front of you. So you got the knowledge so you can survive. He who endures to the end shall be saved. You know, you're going to learn to the end. If you listen to what I'm be saying, bro. I, I, he gave me everything I need to know to survive. I've been knew this for a long time, dog. Been knew this. He just started telling me other things, dog. That I'm just like, man. I'm just like, wow. You, 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 you really setting me up. You would tell me certain things right before the brink of it. You don't understand how much tension that can cause me. He doesn't care. He doesn't care. Just like every time we put me in themselves. So guess what? I'm built for this already, y'all. I'm built for this. But there's one thing that I got that I gotta tell y'all, and there's another thing. That's why I said I said said what I said earlier. I may have to isolate myself. Cause imagine you just getting locked up, first time ever, and you're going to prison. When you get into that 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 slammer, right? What is your what is your first instance gonna be to do? You got people on your right, people on your left. How are you gonna operate? See what I mean? How are you gonna operate? Are you going to get out there, go in there all bucked in this, then the third? Or are you going to look straight? You're not giving this person eye contact, that person eye contact. Why? Because the first person that give that you give eye contact to is going to do what? They're going to be the they're going to be the one to try you, dog. That's inviting. The eyes are inviting, and they they're going to be able to see what they need to see out of you. And that's why I said, cover your eyes and cover your head, especially if you're a woman. If you're a man too, dog. Your man too. Cover your head. And don't look directly at the people. What you got to do, your business out there, you do your business and you get back to wherever it is. Don't come off no type of aggressive energy. Do not go out. Same rules. Same rules apply, bro. Why? Because that's what was told to me. Okay? Now, I didn't, well, I know we all got some problems because we all think we bout it, bout it, and bad, and big, and this, that, and the third, nigga. Not in this day, Okay? Not in this day. All right? Now, he didn't told me. He didn't told me. He didn't warn me. 
I said, Lord, oh, I said, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I got it because I keep jumping out the car to fight, man. I said, I'm going to warn you because when the time comes, it's no more warnings for any of us, okay? So, I just want to let you know that. And that's why I'm the soldier, Doug, because I, I got to let you know the actual instructions because they come from God. Now, they got complete authority with that. And there's power and understanding and there's power and knowledge. You have no power. Do you understand? You see what I'm saying? And that will be for men and women. So just in case you thought it was going to be this old, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's not that kind of show, dog. It's, it's, it's really not, bro. And you don't want to get caught slipping because it's going to be the presence of of death out there and it understands all of you and it knows all of you and the moment you come out there with some kind of animosity or intentions of your own heart well it's coming right for you as a matter of fact it can make it into your house that you thought you blessed because you'll be the one that'll bring it back in there you see what i mean that's why i'm telling you nobody's business is your business at that time if you got to get to a grocery store i don't care where it is you got to get you get there I and mean, you get back that's the only mission you get to what you need and you get right back the, the, the part of this mission is when you're back y'all play fortnite right okay so you can have flashlights and you can also have your straps and whatever you got at your house if anything happens i don't care if you put the light on them and then bust them in the back I'm dead serious. I don't care. Take their head off. But that's if they try your ish, right? But you're going to just realize one thing. You just wasting bullets. Seriously. Because you already noticed they're running away, bro. But I'm just saying. You know what I mean? It, it, it ain't going to be provoking if you bust them in the back after they're already running away. It's not like they're going to be mad. No, I'm serious. Like, you you holding your, your sh down. You hear me? So that's why I was trying to tell Shorty the other day. It's going to be enough work for people who are going to be alone. You feel me? Trust me. The last thing you're going to be worrying about is being out there. You're going to be trying to figure out if this window safe, if that window safe, if this secure, if did that light go out? And you might have to stay up. You, 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 you're going to have to huddle up, man. You better go get some, some people around you. I don't care who they are. If they are not of the enemy, you may have to squat up together and take turns sleeping to make sure that, you know, I'm telling you, it's this kind of time. Okay? It's a real zombie apocalypse, nigga. Okay? Yes. Yes. Possessed people. If you didn't see the, the video I had about the dream, go check it out, okay? It's the one where it was um a dream. Out of a dream came a strong delusion or something like that that I had. But it was about the one where the people are all walking to this water. And they're they're just they're just they're xing people out over this this melody being played now in my dream is a melody god's reminded me of what i do he reminds me of what activates the soldiers and i'm like really dog? so so the symphony that i heard in dream ain't oh no it's gonna be a turned up symphony y'all the symphony ain't what i heard he just gave that to me for that vision because everything that my eyes seen, I could have woke up out of that dream bawling tears, cuz. Yeah, nigga like me, bawling tears. Dog, I'm telling you, dog, it's not something you really want to see. You hear me? But that's why I said, if we prepare ourselves, and that's why he's allowed me to get this information, because I didn't even know we was going to be able to do that, right? To prepare ourselves in a certain mind frame, right? Spiritual Dog, these things are going to be so effective, you have no idea. Gaining all the sunlight. To, you got to build this person that you're going to have to become for that time now. So if we got to start now, you feel me? So then when it's happening, it'll be like a symphony being played. You're not going to feel those emotions. You won't feel it. You can see a lot happening, but you won't be scared. You won't be fearful. You won't be sad or anything. You understand? Because those feelings of worry and doubt and all that stuff you got right now, I already know y'all got that. I know some of y'all got that. And it'll turn into pride real quick. And that'll get you dead out here real even faster. You, you understand what I'm saying? So you're going to have to exercise humbleness and humility right now. That's what I'm doing. I'm doing that right now. Why? Because I'm practicing on acting like I don't see him. 
It's hard for me because all my life, I'd be the one to jump out on it. Right, exactly. But for me, I act like I don't see them when they go that way. Bang, got you. Just like I had to do the last one. You heard me? And I'm telling you, the reason why I got him is because he didn't see it coming. You want to ask Shorty? Yo, we could pull Shorty on the line right now. Ask her. She was with me. The only one that was with me. She was getting all bucked up. Yo, oh, we got this and that too. Yo, settle your ass down, dog. Go to the car. That's what I told her. She didn't go to the car. Now, if the enemy wanted to attack her, he could have. Why? Because after I already made the strike, dog. You hear me? I'm just saying, dog. I'm just saying. I didn't show no form of aggression. At the time being, which gave me my leverage, my nigga. Gave me my leverage. Do you understand? Okay, say we're black ops. I'm on a black ops mission. I don't care. I'm highly trained all this, and the third. What do they tell you? You got to sneak up on the enemy. You don't go boldly barging up on some shit. They're going to be prepared. That's why God said, prepare Genesis 4. You sure about that? <laughs> I'm like, man. Hmm. I could do it in so many ways, but I'm like, and I and I, and I have been, I have been, and you know what I do? I do it with the eyes. I do it with the eyes. I do it by preparing myself because when they see me getting ready, they 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 like, oh shoot, I know what he's ready for. Exactly. It's also not provoking. It's also not. Uh, aggressive and in this manner and this and the third but if they look at me this is now though this is now not later they looking at me now I'm looking at them mm -hmm. I want you to know what's coming I want you to know everybody out here ain't afraid of you dog and just like y'all got killers on your side what you thoughts over here dog what you think we scared bro huh oh yo oh you got distracted with you right now there's no words coming out there's no provoking going on this is just eyes but I'm going to tell you something about them eyes on a day like this. You don't want to look into their eyes. Okay? There's an evil, dark spirit that's going to be in their eyes. And that's another way that these spirits can jump into you. That's why I said, your job is just to make it where you're going to get back home. Don't take these spirits back into your house with you. If you don't listen to what I'm saying, you're going to die. Fuck all that trouble shit. No. You're gonna die because now they're gonna be able to just come right in and it may not be nighttime when they do so you feel, you feel what i'm saying mind you you're supposed to be protecting yourself with the spirit of christ by doing that there's ways there's certain things you got to do to operate and operating that's why he made me that way and so on me that day when bull pulled out the tone like this thing on me i'm like what the what i'm literally dressed up i'm in you feel me i'm, I'm serious man I, I, I don't even look like somebody that's trying to go to war today, bro. I'm in my head. I got the joint. You know what I mean? I'm sharp. I got the best on shoes, everything. Why is it coming from me? Well, because he thought he could try me. Because I guess I looked at like an easy target. That part. That part, that part, that part. So he tried me because of that. But at the same time, when he didn't get the reaction that he would, he, he probably thought could come out of me. He probably said, oh, okay, yeah, that is an easy target. And that's where you want him. Because the moment he turned his head, jumps off, dog. You hear me? See, he turned his head, though. Why? Because I showed no signs of aggression. So you want to be composed? You want to be a soldier? You better know how to compose then. See? This is a lot more than running your mouth and thinking you holding on your nuts and all. Whatever the hell you think out here, bro. You are up against demonic entities. You don't know how to war with that shit. Okay? They will get your ass quick. And it will turn one of your peoples faster, bro. And if you got people in your house, it's best that you not let the enemy in. So you should be leaving at the house maybe two at a time. And making sure y'all got each other's back when y'all out there and get back. You understand? Making sure y'all ain't y'all remembering these type of messages. Yo, don't look at this. Don't do that. You need somebody that's gonna have your back when you on the move, making the mission. The only, I'm telling you, a mission could be going to the store to get water and shit, bro. Dead ass. You feel me? Or, or trying to get some gas or whatever. It's gonna be gas plenty where. Cause we ain't gonna have to worry about gas because 
you're gonna just take this car from this dead mom just what i'm saying like <laughs> I'm telling my, I'm telling, bro, yo, your boy gonna be. <laughs> I already told God, I'm like, yo, first month to see with the Ferrari, bro. I'm telling you, I don't care what type of time it is. I'm still ain't gonna be looking at me, like, but I'm driving that Ferrari, bro. <laughs> tell me, I had my time, boy. I'm gonna have my time, bro. But it's nothing fun about this. It's, it's nothing fun or funny, okay? But, you know, imagine watching somebody like me in a time like that. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be a lot less... I, listen, I promise you. You're going to be a lot less... Usa. Like, you feel me? And you still be able to crack a smile. You'll still be eating. You won't be on a scavenger hunt for food. Not in, not, 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 not in the way. You feel me? Then you'll realize that you're gaining a certain type of energy and structure in your body that your appetite doesn't even really require much food at this time. You're going to be trying to figure out why. Well, it's because the transition effect is actually coming in, and that's why all these things are happening. How is it that you think we're going to be able to live a thousand years anyway? These bodies can't even live a hundred years. You see what I mean? What food do we got here that's going to make us last a thousand years? You don't know, because it ain't about the food. You see what I mean? But we'll, we'll figure that out later. He's going to give me the code, okay? We're going to have the code. I'm like, man, this is November. He told me calamity starts in February, Doug. February, bro. That's that's not far from here, bro. I told y'all February, bro. I already told y'all February, man. So I don't know if people want to think, oh, well, this is not this happening. Oh, what's going on right now? Shut the hell up. Shut the hell up. What is what I'm talking about? It's not happening till February. That's what he told me, man. I know everybody, see, that's why, that'd be the problem. It's like, listen, if you believe me, you believe me. If you don't believe me, just turn the shit off. You're wasting your time. You're wasting your time. And as a matter of fact, just get, just get ready to die. Because I'm telling you, bro, nobody else out there is going to have this information for you, bro. You probably like, okay, well, then how's the rest of You're going to see how everybody else is going up soon. I told you who I am, Doc. I'm the Don Caluminati, man. Y'all still trying to figure out who Don Caluminati? Y'all, I'll, I'll be like, man, man, man. I, I, I don't got time to school nobody on who I am, right? But kind of do. I have. I don't. I ain't gonna school them on it, but I kind of gotta let you know because if I don't, then what are you supposed to think? Like, do you hear me, bro? I'm the one that God sent, dog, to make sure you have this information and this knowledge. The knowledge that I'm presenting you, there's nobody else with this. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? So do you think that I'm going to stay underground for long? No. Not at all, bro. You think I'm going to stay turned down for long? Not at all, Doug. I am waiting to come out of my cage. Y'all just have no idea, bro. I've been, I've been like, man, that's another reason why I was so upset with God last night. Because I'm like, God, literally, bro. I was about to explode 10 years ago thinking this was supposed to happen then. You feel me? And now, all I can tell God is, I am tired, Lord. Tired. Tired. You done ran me through so many orchestrations and so many situations and patterns and, and everything. And I'm at this point right now. I feel like I'm doing so much work right now. And I'm just like... Dog, by the time this happened, I got to go on to do something else because I'm like ready to take a little nap real quick. But I can't. I can't. He's still preparing me for the day. He's still preparing y'all for the day. And I know some of y'all are tired. This is how we're going to gain that energy back. Keys to the universe, part four, coming soon. I'm telling you. And if we get into this process, within a month, you should start to feel better energetically wise, Okay. Mind you, that affects everything. Mind, body, soul, spirit, everything, dog. You hear me? You hear me? And a lot of that is in the diet. I see exercise as well. Exercise, sunlight, sleep, good diet, good music, good vibrations. There's a lot of other stuff. But I can scientifically tell you how these things are going to combine. And if you're doing it, you got to practice for a certain amount of time. You gotta, We got to do it between like, pretty much now and February. This is a shake that I'm drinking right now. You hear me? Because I'm in the gym and I need that. Um, 
Now I'm gonna tell you how them neurotransmitters work with your muscles in the standard third, because it'll help you be a lot stronger than you even thought you was. It'll have you have a lot more endurance than you ever knew you had. You can need all this at this time. Your heart will be covered, your physical, your mental, your spiritual. Yo, who with your boy, man? Until next time, it's your boy Doc Illuminati. Peace. I'm love. Oh,